now our course of the feco i request dr agni parek dr navneet kosniwal dr sirish thorat and gopal dr gopal is there okay so we will deal with uh, feco emulsification in the different grades of cataract and i as i have got the endowment lecture on the this thing uh, in hall 3 so i will be presenting my presentation uh, with the <laughs> consent of our chief instructor dr agni i have got the two presentation but uh, i will combine few uh, so that the presentation can be complete two presentations together i will complete it <coughs> basically my presentation is on the hard cataract and my second presentation is on the hypermature cataract so if time permit i will now cover the white cataract and if time permit later on once i come from that place i will cover the hypermature cataract so i think in the era of the feco i am not having any financial interest with any company but they should pay for the association when there is a conference so that <laughs> we always ask them and uh, see now this is the uh, cataract that i am doing uh, and see here the rexis i am doing now whenever you are doing the rexis in such cases it goes in the periphery and always remember see this is a slightly larger axis why because if the bag is small and when you are making the pieces then the bag get teared from behind it means posterior capsule side and so if the bag is larger it opens in front and the pressure is then distributed in front and does that doesn't go on the posterior capsule so to avoid the pressure on the posterior capsule we should do slightly larger rexis in such type of cases you will see now how i am handling this case see here i am going down you will see my tip it properly goes down not horizontal slightly slanting and then i said see here these are the fibers behind so these are the leathery fibers and unless and until you separate those fibers you should not go to the piece so see here again what i am doing is i am completely separating the piece and once i separate the piece then see here again so the piece is separated and once that is separated from this other piece otherwise the uh, this uh, the emulsification of the feco uh, this uh, nucleus piece will be difficult and when the last piece remains go slow and complete the feco emulsification so such type of uh, grade of cataract uh, can be ragni so such type of me ek presentation kar deta main ka so now see this now ye when you see such type of calcification in such situation also the dilatation of the pupil is difficult now here see i am doing the rexis and once i have done the rexis now it is a whitish type of cataract whitish and you will see the iris repulsion can you see this so the patients who are on the prostate medication or some other systemic uh, see the here again you see and then see what i have done is uh, i have done a trench proper trench and after doing the trench then after that i am operating see here again so whenever see here so once you are doing feco emulsification the separation of the piece to a, up to the center separation of the piece up to the center is very important now this patient is having the the neck movements and in that i am operating so you can see the patient is moving so and here you can see the i am taking care of the iris and completed the feco emulsification so you can use anything which is better in your hand 
you can use a continuous mode you can use a high vacuum pulse mode or multi burst or burst mode so these all modes you can use but you must be well conversant with what you are using for the peco emulsification that is what uh, is in your hand now you see the direct chop now you see whenever you are doing the direct chop see here in this if there is a whitish element whitish if it is a brownish element don't go for the direct chop if cataract hard with the whitish element then that though it is you can see it is a brown but yes because of the whitish appearance you can see i can do the chop here you can see the and every chop see what i am doing is separating this gradually up to the center of the nucleus see here and see the chopper the chopper then i am holding the piece by my peco and then i am separating it by my chopper so whenever you are separating it so you must separate it properly and once that is separated properly then the emulsify emulsifying one one piece is not difficult so here you can again see the uh, another type of cataract and see here how i am doing it here you can see it has buried inside and once i buried inside then you can see my tip of the chopper and then you will see the separation is possible so so piece your tip should go down slightly if it is parallel horizontal then there is a it, it slips so movement of the tip should be slightly down and see the chopper see here whenever you are putting the chopper see again so like this see now movement is down going down so it goes in the substance and then the chopper so the chopper should be not in the same line slightly on one side so that the space is there and by that space we can remove the cataract see here now again i am rotating and once i rotate see here see the how the piece is separated here because once your tip is inside the substance yes gopal please come your piece is uh, this tip is inside the substance then you can definitely chop the piece and then gradually the last piece is there you must go very gradually for the last piece so now the now this is the you can see now gradually the you have seen the grades are changing now here it is slightly harder than before but again you will see the axis is slightly larger so that is very important if you do the small axis then the pc tear is inevitable see now here see it is buried in the tip uh, in the substance and once you buried in the see here again i bury in the substance see here and once i bury in the substance then the chopper will separate it sometimes it slips again you will have to separate it and once you separate it see again i am burying it see my tip is going down and once it goes down in the substance then only the chopper because that time the piece is now here so you stabilize the piece you stabilize the piece by the tip of the peco and once you stabilize the pick that piece with the tip of the peco then then the chopper separates it now you can do four pieces six pieces or you can do two pieces debulk it and then go for the other two pieces that depends on the convenience uh, that time so whatever is convenient to you you can do that time so that is what see here again the whenever you are removing this see here so you can remove the total cataract here you have seen
been dirty. You have seen that. Huh? Then the then I will go to the uh, take home message. Then I will present the hypermature cataract. Those are not opening. Stop and chop technique or direct chop is possible, but you must be well conversant for that. Effective use of the ultrasound energy is very important. So use it properly. Now one thing you must have experience how you see your own seco. Record it and see your own seco. And with the time, it means don't see it haphazardly. Yes, I have done Don't do that. Record it and see properly in the night. Instead of going on the phone and WhatsApp, if you see the seco properly, then you will learn more. So we give more time on WhatsApp. So that is better to spend time on seco so that next day you can do excellent seco ML seco. And choose what is effective in your hand. So whatever is effective in your hand, it is not that I am telling so you should choose this. So what is effective in your hand, that you should choose. So thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Lane, sir. So for showing such beautiful videos of hard brown cataracts and we always worry whether it will be done or not and whether FECO is possible. But as we see that it is possible, a lot of patience and perseverance can help us do it. Uh, Dr. Lane sir is also getting the one of the awards, which is the Daljit Singh Oration Dragon Award. Endowment.